Hi, my name is Tats Riffel and welcome to my little studio. If you are interested in fine art, then this is the place to be. Because I explore the world through art creation and document my adventure and share it. This time I'm working on this fluffy hippo doll. A really sweet one, huh? And I turned this into this art piece called Fluffy Hippo. I'll show you the whole process, including the construction part, which is the basic drawing, over the blocking in and applying the values, and of course the final touch. Besides that, I'll share my thoughts during the process, as well as some art thoughts in general. And I hope you can pick something useful from it or just be entertained. Squeeze that tube. Okay, let me drop some of my thoughts during the process here at the beginning, so you can enjoy the time lapse by yourself down the line. And that way I have sort of planted some seeds in your mind and you can listen to them and enjoy the creation process while focusing on some of the parts I mentioned. Oh, and I've recorded my palette, so I'll display it every now and then, just so you can have a view into the mixing kitchen. I used my brush as a measurement instrument at the very beginning of the construction phase of the drawing. I measured few times more to avoid proceeding with the drawing too far and then realized that I need to start from scratch, like I had to do during the daffodil flower painting. I always wanted to explore some sort of a pop art style or call it a mainstream style college subject. You know, this kind of subject that screams at you because of its high chroma colors and contrasts. But I had no time for that until now. By the way, by high chroma I mean the intensity of color. Let's get a bit technical. I have this fluffy hippo doll, which is a middle chroma blue I would say. I would call it a baby blue and in the background I have a high chroma pink, which is a shirt I'm using as a backdrop. In this palette I used titanium white, ivory black, alizarin crimson, yellow ochre, indian red and prussian blue. During the mixing process alizarin crimson, indian red and sometimes even prussian blue combined with titanium white gave me the possibility to paint this pink backdrop and when working on the shadow parts underneath the hippo for instance I've used alizarin crimson with ivory black and a little tip of Prussian blue. For the hippo itself I used Prussian blue with titanium white and in some parts a bit of alizarin crimson to express the reflections. My goal is to achieve a visual effect that describes the velvet fabric of the subject. It has to be velvet before I bind to it. Here I am, observing the surface of the fabric trying to get an idea of how to depict the surface so it feels like the velvet fabric. After a warming up time, somewhere after the first hour and before the third hour, I discovered it. That thing that is responsible for this velvet effect. It's the abrupt changing of the direction of the tiny hairs on the fabric's surface. What caused my attention is that there are spots where I touched it. These spots are visible because the tiny hairs on the fabric surface abruptly change their direction and therefore reflect the light in another direction. And because of that, there is an abrupt change in color, dark against light, high chroma meets low chroma and so on and so forth. Observing this little phenomenon gave me the key to visualize this surface. And now it was on me, mixing the values I do observe and put them on their deserved spot on the canvas. From here I let you with it and get back towards the end with some general thoughts about art.
This subject was fairly really fun to do. I enjoyed every step and had some aha moments, especially as the fabric turned into the velvet look and the subject became three-dimensional after tweaking the values. I think it is very important to have this easy approach projects in between the big projects, so I can step aside and have some fun. It is something where I can turn off the feeling that I could mess it up, because even if I do, it doesn't feel that bad. And while I'm saying this, I realize that it feels easy because my knowledge base achieved a certain level that allows me to have some control. And that's why I do not feel bad when I mess it up. The strong feeling of control remains. I know what to do and how to fix it. So the point is getting control through practice. I came across this opinion that it is not good to do the mainstream stuff. As an artist, you are responsible to do only some deep thought work that will have quadruple layers of thoughts and meaning. So everyone looking at it can have some really deep thoughts and aha moments. Don't get me wrong, I like the idea of putting, besides the physical color layers, some psychological layers as well into an art piece in order to achieve a stream of thoughts in the viewer's mind. On the other hand though, I think an artist can and should do what he likes to do. And the least thing he should think of is what is popular at this moment. What really matters is what is popular for you in your own umwelt at this moment. That is the world you're experiencing. Your umwelt is what surrounds you. It's the news you're consuming every day, people you're connected to, books you're reading, place you're living, things you're eating. You get the idea. So actually, it is possible to change your own perception of the world by changing your umwelt. Maybe a slightly bit. And as the end result, hopefully, one will be inspired in creating some different stuff than one is creating now. Whether it is some mainstream stuff or some quadruple layer deep thought stuff, what matters is the genuine impulse to create art. That's it for this episode. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Hey, and why won't you turn on the notification bell? You will be notified when the next episode is out. And subscribe, of course, if you aren't already. This helps this channel to grow. By the way, check out my homepage. Follow the link in the description below. Besides original artwork like this one, I have some decent prints and art-themed apparel available over there. You make me happy if you pick something from there. That means I can proceed with my art adventure and share it with you. Hey, see you in the next video. So long.